This is a debris field right here, and I'm not worried about dropping the tree into it or if the tree hangs up in the stuff that's above it. But right here, let me tune into this. You can see the knot that I'm using. I'm approximately 20 feet from the trunk of the tree, and when the tree comes down, even if it hangs up, I'll be able to walk over there and untie my knot and get my rope out. Normally, I tie a bowline onto the line that I've pulled into the tree so that when I tighten up on it, it cinches on the trunk. But this one may not come down and I don't want to get it all the way to the ground. I'm more interested in just keeping it from falling on something that's, um, shall we say, easily damaged. So I'm going to use my Mazdam continuous rope puller, put tension on it, notch it, back cut it, and it should come down just as pretty as can be. If you want to see how it would normally be done, where I tie and I cinch onto the tree with a slip knot, you, well, it's actually a slip rope, using a bowl and tied back to itself, I'll put a link in the description. While I was putting tension on it to come in and cut it, the tree actually broke and, as predicted, it hung up up there. It's in vines, all kinds of stuff. I don't have to worry about it coming down. I can easily walk over there, untie my knot, remove my rope, and move on to the next dead, rotted tree. This is a method of dropping trees. Make sure you always have an escape route. This can be life-altering if you get hit by a tree that's coming down. I can't tell you how many people have been killed by falling trees, but you hear about it all the time. People are in their car and a tree comes down on them. So make sure you're never under a tree when it comes down. This concludes this little exercise. Dysfunctional that out.